Hey, I'm Shay, and I'm going to show you how to safely wrap your baby in the Kia Baby's wrap carrier. Before we get into all that, I want to share two tips with you really quick. So first of all, you'll notice on the Kia Baby's wrap carrier, we'll call this the front side, it's like a smooth fabric. If you look on the back side, it's a little more textured. So here's the smooth, here's the textured. Can you see the difference? So this is going to be important in just a minute once we actually start wrapping the carrier onto us and putting our baby in because then you'll be able to tell which side is which. Especially if you are a new baby wearer, then it'll be easier for you to get less twisted and tangled. The second tip I want to share with you is if you are breastfeeding and you want to breastfeed in baby wear, before you put the carrier on, I would go ahead and have your breastfeeding friendly clothes on. So I prefer shirts like this where, you know, there's access to breastfeeding that makes it so much easier. Okay. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can go ahead and put our carrier on. I prefer to bunch it. You can also fold it in half. It's just preference. So I would practice and see what's comfortable for you, what's easy for you. And then always start, especially if you are new baby wear, always start over a soft surface like a bed, sofa, something like that. So now that we have it bunched and you have your Kia babies middle marker, you take that and you put it right at your belly button. Then you take both tails, pass them both behind you and crisscross. Now that we've done that, you can take both tails and put them over your shoulders with the textured side that I was showing you, with the textured side touching you. And it's, when I say textured, it's not rough. It is very soft. Um, it's just a nice way to be able to tell the difference in the sides. There we go. Okay. Got that side straightened out. Got this side straightened out. And get the middle marker back down. All right. Give it just a tiny tighten. Gather both ends of the tail. Push them through behind the middle marker. Now that you've done that, make sure both textured sides are still touching you and you can crisscross again. Making sure you can see the middle marker still, okay? I give it a little tighten, and then you go behind you and you crisscross again. Now, once you do that, I give it another little tighten, then you can go ahead and tie it in front of you around your waist. This knot doesn't have to be particularly tight. Chances are you're gonna have to go back and readjust it. Take your hands and pull these out. With the newborn hug hold that I'm showing you right now, you're gonna want like a little pocket to put your baby in so that they'll be nice and snug. So I prefer to go ahead and spread it out over my shoulders just a little bit. It just kind of helps create that pocket a little bit better for baby. We go now you get everything situated and then you grab your baby I have my weighted baby doll here so first you are gonna put the inside pass you're gonna put your baby's legs in there and the legs should be in their natural position kind of however they are once you put them on your shoulder always keeping a hand on your baby you are going to tuck in both legs into the first pocket. Okay. There we go. Now you put the second pocket over, baby. Okay. See right here, I've got a bunch of fabric in the in baby's face. Just want to spread that out a little bit. Okay. And you're making sure really that when you look down, you can see your baby's face and that they are able to breathe. You just don't want it bunched up in their face. You wanna make sure that they can have breathing room. Then you take this last pass and you just carefully bring it up over baby. 
This helps with trunk and head and neck control, gives them support, makes everything nice and tight, super supportive. Ooh, I got a little twist. Spread all that out. Oh man, that feels so good. When you spread it out like that, it really does give you much more support. And then you got some slack. You just take this. I prefer to tie it up under baby's butt a little tighter if you have extra fabric and it gets in the way you can just kind of tuck it up in here or tie it again whatever's comfortable for you all right so now that we've got baby all wrapped and secure like i said you want to make sure that you can see baby's face at all times baby can breathe well make sure they're close enough to kiss you don't want them sagging make sure the carrier's nice and snug if there are loose you know loose places you may have to kind of take it down a little bit and start over and one last little tip that I want to share with you is don't ever bend, let me back up, don't ever bend over like that with your baby when you are baby wearing in any carrier. Always bend at your knees to pick something up. Um, that reduces the risk of baby falling out of the carrier. So this is the newborn hug hold in the Kia Baby's wrap carrier. Baby's nice and supportive, comfortable, napping hopefully. Let's say you need to change baby's diaper. For whatever reason, you have to take baby out of the carrier. It's super easy to take out. Always keep your hand on your baby. You just simply push down this pass right here. Gently slide baby out of this pocket. And out of that pocket. And there you go, there's your baby. And you can always leave the wrap carrier on, let's say especially if you're just needing to change baby's diaper or something, you can always leave the wrap carrier on and then when you go to put baby back in, you just loosen up the knot a little bit and then re-tighten it once you've got everything situated. It just makes it really easy because then you're not having to re-wrap every single time. So I hope that was helpful for some safety tips on how to wear your newborn um, in the newborn hug hold with the Kia Babies Wrap Carrier.